So after a long look, after a long re investigation, after so many people have been so badly hurt, after not looking at the other side, where a lot of bad things happened, a lot of horrible things happened, a lot of very bad things happened for our country. It was just announced there was no collusion with Russia, the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. There was no collusion with Russia. There was no obstruction and none whatsoever. And it was a complete and total exoneration. It's a shame that our country had to go through this. To be honest, it's a shame that your president has had to go through this for before I even got elected. It began and it began illegally. And hopefully somebody's going to look at the other side. This was an illegal takedown that failed. And hopefully somebody's going to be looking at the other side. So it's complete exoneration, no collusion, no obstruction. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very brief statement from the president of the United States, but a very tough statement. Not uh, surprisingly, the president insisting once again, no collusion, no obstruction. It's a shame uh, for our country that the, that the president himself and that others had to go through this. It, it, he also charged that this was an illegal takedown that failed, and he's calling for a new investigation of why this entire Russia investigation was even launched. Uh, you know, strong words from the president. We knew he would be gloating as a result of this letter from the attorney general mm -hmm. to Congress. Uh, but it's clear how angry he is. Look, how many times have we heard him say no collusion? I mean, it's it's his mantra more than it has been his mantra more than or as much as make America great again. And now he can say that with the goods to back him up, back it up. He can. I, and, and, and that's and that's well, no. And but in fact, with Russia, that anyone with his yeah, campaign exactly. didn't collude with Russia. That's a good thing for people. We should step away, not just say it's a win for the president. It's a good, it's a good thing that that. Yeah, did not no, happen. absolutely. Also, but I just also want to add. He also said, just like in his tweet, total exoneration, even on obstruction of justice, as we've been t talking right. about here. That wasn't what this letter said. The letter written by his own attorney general. Now, they also they said again to reiterate that they didn't have evidence beyond a reasonable doubt if they were to prosecute him in a court of law to prove that, but they didn't say he didn't obstruct. No, I mean, that is not there. But, and that is, again, a political question mm -hmm. that the House of Representatives, now run by Democrats, are going to have to grapple with how much they want to address that with regard to Before oversight. We, I want to make a point about yeah, something else. He said, he said people were badly hurt, right? Who could he be referring to? Think about Paul Manafort, Roger Stone. These are people he is associated with, who he has, has said have been unfairly charged in this investigation. So perhaps now we will look towards pardons, uh, yep. certainly for yeah. Paul yeah. Manafort, at the, at the end of the investigation. That, so that could be the next step in this. They were waiting for, uh, for Mueller to finish before they made this so, decision. He says the whole thing was an illegal, illegal. takedown so, from the start. But, and on, the other thing, I just, I just the seven fact... federal judges, federal court judges upheld the appointment of Robert Mueller and his authority. Just got to put that out there. But I think going back to Shimon's so point about the pardons, it does raise the question because before there was assumed, I believe pretty universally in Washington, that there would be blowback. We not only heard that from Democrats, but even if you right. Republicans. The question now is, given all of this from Bill Barr and Rosenstein, from the findings from Robert Mueller, would there still be such a blowback if the president does pardon people like Paul yes. Manafort, Roger Stone, <laughs> if it came down to it? What would the response be if that? And that's well, what the White House is going I, to be I judging. Think, I think what's going to happen now is that the Democrats are going to demand to see everything. Mm -hmm. Every single piece of paper, every document, mm -hmm. every transcript, a grand jury testimony, and release it. And they can I get their Bill hands Barr on it and release it. He wants and, and to do that. And, well, well, I don't Except know. Grand jury that, material. I don't I know, know that Barr right. is going to. I don't know that Barr is going to want to do as much as the Democrats are going to want to do. But given the fact that there are these what. Mueller referred to as difficult issues of law and fact concerning obstruction. I do think that the Democrats are going to are going to mine that because, again, as we've been saying all day today, as we've been saying that this was Bill Barr and Rod Rosenstein's decision, not 
Bob Mueller's and I decision. Bill Barr had previously said it was a fatally misconceived exactly. investigation exactly. before he was the attorney general, and the Democrats pounced on that. Remember, during his confirmation hearing, that was a big point of contention. But if you read it closely, page three of the memo, in some ways, he is exonerated by his hand-picked attorney general. I mean, yeah. I think the attorney general put that line in that mm -hmm. the special counsel states and quoted it, that while the report does not conclude that the president committed a crime, it also does not exonerate him. Put that in there because he knows that potentially one day Robert That's Mueller's right. full report could be mm -hmm. made public. Right. And he wants the cover to say, look, I pointed out in my letter that the special counsel's confidential report did say it doesn't exonerate him. But then he goes on to say in his words that his behavior did not constitute obstructive conduct. It's, so in some ways, that is a reasonable doubt. We can't forget, right. you know, under the law, exactly. these laws. And the president, if we were here covering a trial of someone with that was uh, acquitted, we would be saying the person's mm -hmm. been exonerated, exactly. right? right? So in the president's eyes, in his lawyers, in the people who win. are associated, totally, this yeah. is a win because they did not bring charges against yeah. him. Elliot, right. what do you think? Well, you know, it's interesting. If you look at the comments of Jay Sekulow, Rudy Giuliani, and the president, the one consistent thing is undermining the integrity of the investigation. And so when you start talking about illegal takedowns, the other side, who is the other side if it's not Hillary Clinton wow. and the deep mm -hmm. state? And, um, you know, the un if you notice the other day, the unelected Rod Rosenstein. And, and so what they're doing, rather than talking about the substance, because they know, frankly, if they read the part on obstruction, they'd be wrong because, you know, they're essentially lying about it here a moment ago. Um, it's dropping public faith. I think the goal is to attack the public's faith in this. And I think it's they're looking toward 2020 far more than winning any legal, any further legal battles or winning anything in Congress. Can, this is speaking to voters and the president's base far more than... Can I just than, say something that's going to sound Pollyanna, but it's important? You said the other side. You know who the other side should be? Russia. <laughs> Russia is the other side. In this letter on page two, it says that very explicitly how the Russian government hacked successfully hacked into computers and obtained emails from persons affiliated with the Clinton campaign and Democratic Party. Also says that as part of the, you know, no collusion, that no campaign, uh, Trump campaign official or associate conspired or knowingly coordinated with Russia. Knowingly coordinated. Not that Russia didn't try Someone to influence, which is how it all, which they did. Ask right. the question at some point of the president, what did you mean by the other side when speaking about your Justice Department's investigation of you, political appointees that you installed? Well, I think he's made uh, it pretty clear. He thinks that people like Hillary Clinton should be investigated. That's what he said all along, right. that he wasn't the one who... For getting hacked? Russia. Yeah. He accused Democrats of doing that. So that is uh, a point here with in this where it says two sentences under where it says that the Trump campaign or anyone associated with it didn't collude with Russia. Right before that, it says that, yes, Russian government actors did hack into Democratic emails, not only from the DNC, but also from the Clinton campaign. Uh, so saying that Democrats did collude with Russia, as the president has said throughout the last year or so, uh, would seem to fly in the and, face and, of that. And it's important to note that in this uh, four-page letter that the attorney general sent to Congress, uh, they, the, the attorney general quotes from the Mueller yes. report and says, and this is from the Mueller report, the investigation did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in its election interference activities. And Shimon, that's a very, very that's hard right. statement. Very there's, there's no, you can't, yeah, I mean, the Congress could do what they want. They could try to dive into this a little bit. But trust me, I think if the FBI thought that there was, that that existed, they, we would, they would not allow the, Mueller or the Department of Justice not to bring charges. The, for the FBI, this has been one of the most important, in terms of the Russia interference and what the Russians are doing, it's been one of the most important investigations mm -hmm. for them. The other, I just want to make a small point, because I, th I think, you know, perhaps Bill Barr is going to take some heat for this in the way that he wrote this. Keep in mind that the special counsel team and the Department of Justice waited for Bill Barr to get in there to be appointed mm -hmm. before they made before Mueller transmitted yeah. his report to them. They did not want Whitaker, who obviously was there, mm -hmm. uh, you know, as the president's But appointed was Mueller not the, done? Well, he was done, but our understanding has been that they wanted to wait for Whitaker to get in mm -hmm. there. I also think that the optics yeah. of it and the appearance of it. So, look, if, the, if there was some conspiracy here mm -hmm. at the Department of Justice, um, 
to not bring charges against the president for obstruction. They could have done it when Whitaker well, was Hold on, the hold on for one moment. Denny Heck, uh, the congressman, uh, member of the Intelligence Committee, is just with us. And I, I still want to get your reaction to what we just heard, Congressman, from the president of the United States. Uh, he says it was a shame that our country had to go through this. He says it, was, uh, it began illegally. It was an illegal takedown that failed. No obstruction, no collusion, complete vindication. That's from the president of the United States. Well, obviously, what the president said is demonstrably not true as it relates to the obstruction of justice exoneration, because there was no exoneration, period, full stop. He did say something that I agreed with, however, Wolf. He said the great harm had been done to America. But the harm that was done to America was during the, during the 2016 presidential election. We simply cannot tolerate, allow, or abide by a foreign government interfering in our decision making. And I want to remind the viewers that for months and months and months, the president claimed that there was no interference by Russia whatsoever, despite the fact that his entire intelligence community had concluded the opposite. So again, I think this begs the question as to why is it that so many people so close to the president are going to jail for having lied? He's also characterized this as a witch hunt. Well, if it was a witch hunt, there were a lot of witches found.